Rick and Mod. Hello, I'm Greg Redcam, Redcam Mods, and welcome to my temporary editing room right here. As you can see, we have my Mac Pro set up behind me. Uh, this is not going to be the final location where I'm filming, but it will be um, temporarily a location to film, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I might just start filming in the studio before I'm finished with it. Who knows? But um, it's been about a month since I've uploaded a video, and I thought this was a great occasion to upload a video. And it's not my video. It's Jordan Farrell's video, the winner of the iBook G3. And he had a very uh, great unboxing video that I wanted to share with you guys right here. It's, um, we won't be watching it on this screen, of course, I'll be bringing it up on the video itself, but Jordan had a great time unboxing it and exploring the iBook, and um, it's a very good video, and I really enjoyed watching it, I think you guys will too. So, anyway, here's Jordan. Hey guys, what is up, my name is Jordan. Uh, you think he could have used a bigger box, but um, big thanks to Hurt K Mods. Um, I was actually in the USA when I got this. This is a prize given to me from him. I think there were like 200 entrants, something like that. Okay, we have the charger, which he shrink cut. So that's the charger right there. You can see he shrink cut it professionally. It looks pretty awesome. Wow, that I love that kind of old plastic where it's very faded. You know it's kind of vintage, especially the wire. And they made some pretty good quality wires back in the day. I mean, look at that. Nothing like that now. Oh my god wow look at that that's nice so there you go here let me get this out of the way first let me just so here it is wow it's very heavy first off and uh, this just just puts a smile on my face look at that wow it has like a CD-ROM here here let me give you guys like a close-up so here you have the main Apple um, logo on the front he did the light mod on that so that should be exciting to see very heavy I'm so surprised there's a CD-ROM and here you have a I don't know what that is maybe video or audio output and um, what is that that's like the uh, oh it's the button oh, okay um, this side we have um, no, what's that I don't even know what that is it's so old it's a firewire it looks like and then you have like an audio or display out USB 2.0 uh, Ethernet and a phone. Wow, they have the old phone here. So um, then the underside is just like that, and uh, designed by Apple in California. Model number. Oh, it's very sturdy. Oh snap! Okay, so here we have the iBook, and there's a little sticker here. Oh, he gave me a sticker. Hurt K mods. That's nice. Um, his link will be down in the description. That's awesome. Um, oh, this is, this is, I'm like a kid at school here. Oh, the, the buttons are like an actual mouse. They're not, a, they're not like a push down. It's like a click. It's like a little click. That is so cool. Wow. Oh, oh, the screen, as soon as you, as soon as you open it too far, the whole thing just tips over. <laughs> Oh, I gotta love the design back in the, those days. I don't even know when this was made. I think the hinge might be... Is the hinge okay? I mean, it closes perfectly fine. I guess the, that's just the way the hinge is. I'm gonna try plug this into my Irish outlet, but um, I actually entered this giveaway when I was over in the States. I was in New York for a month, and I was like bored, and I was looking at his videos. I said, you know what, what the heck? I never really win any of these, but I was bored, so... Um, I did, and uh, it, when I seen my name come up, uh, it was uh, I was just like I was so happy. Let's let's do it. We'll do it in three, two, one, click. And today's winner is Jordan Farrell. Subscribed. I'm the guy who put a GTX 780M into my 2011 iMac 27 inch with High Sierra and Windows 7 working on the iMac display. Would love to have this. Congrats, Jordan. You have won. Um, I'm a huge Apple fan. I have an iMac 27-inch uh, 2011, which I um, kind of modified the GPU. I put a GTX 780, I believe. Yeah, 780M 
into that thing and the thing works like a brand new computer it's so nice um, in, in 2019 there's a 2011 iMac that's still capable of so much obviously it doesn't have ray tracing and stuff like that but it's still pretty like it gets my college work done um, and then I also have an iPad mini I've had iPhone since the iPhone 3G um, I didn't get the 2G though I would like to get the 2G that would be pretty cool to add to my collection I had like an iPod touch uh, I have a MacBook Pro 2013 um, yeah, I'm a huge Apple guy, and uh, this is recording on an iPhone 7 Plus, so um, let me just shoot this thing baby up. Where does this go? I don't even know where this thing goes. Oh, it goes on this side. Okay, it goes on the right side. That's cool. Uh. Hey, at least the light came on. It's charging. Okay, let me give you guys a zoom in on this. Just booted it up. Here's the Apple logo. Hey! Wow, look at that! Oh my god, that is crazy! Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh, that is nostalgia right there. I used to have a MacBook, like just the just the MacBook, you know, the white one. They used to sell them in black as well. And I had that thing for like three months. It cost me like a thousand euro back in the day. This was like I'm 20 two now so this is when I was like 13 and it cost me a thousand euro back then and I remember one day like three months after owning I saved up like my lifetime just to buy this and three months later I had a glass of water in my hand and I was messing in bed and then I I, I span with the water and the water landed on it and it destroyed the entire thing and it costed me another 950 or to repair it didn't even wasn't even worth repairing so I just left it and the guys took it but uh, that was such a such a devastating story wow look at that that is so cool your computer's clock oh my god is set to a date before March 24th 2001 sorry you can't you guys can't see that there you go this may cause some applications to behave erratically okay Oh my gosh, the cursor is so smooth. Oh, that is amazing and it's really fast. Look, when I hover over everything, it just, the names pop up. I had no idea it was gonna be that fast. Let's try Safari. That's always fun. Let's see how long it takes. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing, I love this. Oh my gosh, that was very fast. That was pretty fast for something that's like 10 years old. Okay. Oh my god, I love this nostalgia. I love this, like remember, do you guys remember that those buttons were kind of bubbles and this whole thing was grey? The good old days, look at the old iTunes logo and the old app store, the old Safari, the old mail. I, I still remember all of this, this is coming back to me very clearly when I used to have my old MacBook. This is amazing, you're not connected to the internet. I have an ethernet cable so we can hook that in, that's fine. He said the glow thing lighted up, oh there it is, oh nice, sweet. That is lit bro, and it's blue. I thought it was gonna be purple. I don't know, I had purple in my mind for some reason. But that is absolutely amazing. Oh, let's look at the specifications on this thing. Look at that, 336 megahertz. Wow, 10.4.11 Mac OS, startup disk Tiger. Don't even know what that is. <laughs> Memory, 576 megabytes of SD RAM. That is amazing. Absolute look. Trademark, 1983 to 2007, Apple Incorporated. Wow. I'm not updating this thing. <laughs> I'm keeping it as original as possible. Let's check out Finder. Are there any files? Illegal files. <laughs> no. Whoa, look at those. What the? Dude, this is crazy. I, that looks so cleaner than today's Mac OS. Does that not look nicer than today's Mac OS? They should revert back to this. Desktop. Look at that. Applications, documents. 36.58 gigabytes available. That is absolutely beautiful. I didn't expect this to work so beautifully. I thought it would be very slow and stuff. It's really fast, like ridiculously fast. There's a dashboard? They had dashboards back? Oh, dude, I remember this. I remember always used to going on my Mac 
This screen used to happen all the time and you would just get fed up with it because it would just keep coming up for random reasons on your old Mac. Who remembers that? That's, that was funny. And then you have to keep clicking out of it. All right, I just want to say a huge thank you to Rod K Mods. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it looks fantastic. The retail value on these are about like $250, something like that. I mean, I'm not gonna sell it. Um, it just, it brings me joy having this. Like, I'm a huge Apple fan and, you know, I'm very appreciative of this. Uh, obviously the battery doesn't work, so it has to be plugged in, but that's fine. Like, it's it's a vintage kind of, you know, um, you're, not, you're not gonna be taking it out with you, so it's just gonna be at home. Speechless, I'm speechless, genuinely. It's so good, it's so cool, look at that. Unbelievable. And everything is just the same, they kept everything the same, you know, about the max offer update, everything is the same. I wonder, wait, 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 what date is it telling us we're in? This thing's fast, I'm so surprised. System preferences, this looks so clean. Look at that, it is, okay, well, Apparently it's December 1969, so I don't think Apple was a thing back then. <laughs> Even the calendar looks nice. That's 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 the type of calendar you'd get. Like you know, you buy those mathematics sets, um, and it gives you the calendar on it and looks like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you again to Rutger Mods. Speechless. It's great. I love it. Bye. Anyway, once again, congratulations on winning the iBook G3, Jordan. Um, speaking of iMac, the uh, mid-2011, he was talking about his. There's still a video coming on my iMac, which I actually have right here. I kept it out for moving. Um, it, it's going to have another video. Jordan, you do know you can run Mojave on this, but it, it's a little... A uh, bit of a pain to set up at first, but it will have full graphics acceleration and stuff and be a fully functional Mac Just like any other modern Mac with Mojave. This will also run Catalina with no issues And I'll be doing a video on that very soon <clears throat> Anyway, so once again, congratulations Jordan for winning um, And don't forget guys. I do have a uh, Patreon if you'd like to support me now uh, there'll be a link at the end of the description, uh, well, end of the video, and in the description below. And also, I am um, also sponsored by SellYourMac.com. So if you go to SellYourMac.com slash RodKMods right here and sell something, that would help me out, and it would help you out because you'd be making money. It's awesome. Anyway, so um, once again, congratulations, Jordan, and I'll catch you guys later. This has been a Rocky Mods video.